So before we start, I'm going to murder quite a few pronunciations in this. I apologise in advance. Also, this may get a little upsetting for some, so please take this as a warning. Paul Pot was born on the 19th of May 1925. He was educated at some of Cambodia's most elite schools. While in Paris during the 1940s, he joined the French Communist Party. When Pol Pot returned to Cambodia in January 1953, the whole region was revolting against the French colonial rule. Cambodia officially gained its independence from France later that year. He became the political leader of Cambodia in 1975 and he and his communist Khmer Rouge government led Cambodia until 1979. During this time, an estimated 1.5 to 2 million Cambodians died of starvation, execution, disease or overwork. The Khmer Rouge, in their attempt to socially engineer a classless communist society, took particular aim at intellectuals, city residents, ethnic Vietnamese, civil servants and religious leaders. Some historians regard the Pol Pot regime as one of the most barbaric and murderous in recent history. Almost immediately after taking power, the Khmer Rouge evacuated Phnom Penh's 2.5 million residents. Former civil servants, doctors, teachers and other professionals were stripped of their possessions and forced to toil in the fields as part of the re-education process. Those that complained about the work concealed their rations or broke rules were usually tortured in detention centres such as the infamous S21 and then killed. During the Cambodian genocide, the bones of millions of people who died of malnutrition and overwork or inadequate health care also filled up mass graves across the country. These mass killings were widely regarded as part of a broad state sponsored genocide. One of the worst killing fields was Chiang Ek. In order to save ammunition, the executions were often carried out using poison, spades or sharpened bamboo sticks and then the executioner would bury them in a mass grave. Inside the Buddhist memorial stupa at Chiang Ek, there is evidence of bayonets, knives, wooden clubs, hoes for farming and curved scythes being used to kill victims, with images of skulls destroyed by these implements as evidence. In some cases, children and infants of adult victims were killed by having their heads bashed against the trunks of a changri tree, and then they were thrown into the pits alongside their parents. The rationale was to stop them growing up and taking revenge for their parents' deaths. After several years of border clashes, the newly unified Vietnam invaded Cambodia in December 1978, toppling Pol Pot and installing a rival Marxist-Leninist government in 1979. The Khmer Rouge retreated to the jungle near the Thai border, from where they continued to fight. In declining health, Pol Pot stepped back from many of his roles in the movement. In 1998, the Khmer Rouge commander, Tha Mok, placed Paul Pot under house arrest, shortly after which he died peacefully in 1998, robbing every Cambodian of justice for his atrocities. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out no end. Also, I um, upload videos on my TikTok daily, so please check that out. The link is in the description below. I'm also on Instagram as well. Same again. Uh, links in the description.